and Nara. Weariness. Yes, boss. Let us view into the activity of Ruth's life already. Get to work. All right, master. What do we have? Ruth and Baya are now in the restaurant. Okay. No, 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 no. Master, she's preaching son of man to him. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all part of the plan. Do you think she wants to preach to him? Deception. Yes, old man. Listen, listen and listen carefully. I need you to intensify the urge to sin in Bayo right now. Are you following me? Intensify the urge. Also, to Ruth, bring back the flashes of the sinful things that they used to do together. Bring it back to our memory now. Now, all the things they used to do, the fornication, masturbation, the inside the kitchen, the toilet, the ones inside the car, the hotel, everything, the dirty things they used to do, bring them back to our memory now. Pollute our mind! Master? Yes? They are all living in the restaurant. Old man, listen. In all that you do, make sure Bayo takes root home. Listen! Make sure Bayo takes Ruth home and ensure that Bayo follows her into her house. Please do this well. Good. Yes. What do we have? Master, they've arrived at Ruth's house. Very good. Master Bayo is saying goodbye. He can't say goodbye. Master, he's already leaving. He can't leave. Old man, Bayo must not leave the house. Bayo must not leave. Okay, okay. Bayo is back in. Nice. Should be well done, old man. Well done. Master, we just dropped that bag. Correct. They just hugged. Nice. What's going on? Master, they just kissed! Yes! Yes! Master, it's so intensifying. Hot. This is so intense. Yeah. Which is undressing by you? Yes! Master! Yes. Master! Yes. I can't believe this! Leave. Flesh has taken over. The old man. Hand over the entrance to me. Hello, Master. Old man, well done. Fantastic job. We need you to open the door to us now. I have opened the door of our life back. He can come in. According to his word, when a demon leaves a man, he comes back and he sees the place empty and clean. He goes back and takes seven more powerful demons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're ready to come in. Yes! We're ready to come in. Yeah. Guys, we move. How? How? How did I let this happen? How did I let my body out? How? Why did I do this? How did I let flesh? How did I let my flesh control me? Why? What was I thinking?
thank you jesus ah it's time for my night devotion oh father lord i'm grateful thank you jesus for a good day thank you lord oh, why am i yawning why am i feeling weak why am i not having interest to pray what is going on i just feel weak <laughs> prayer warrior you cannot pray oh hey ja. I thought before, before anyone tells you that your prayer life is going low like this, before you hear Jacob is saying, BOOM! It's like kabashing. <laughs> like a parrot. <laughs> Pray, let me see you. <laughs> Don't know anything. Before, it was just a uh, distraction that was in your life, ordinary small distraction. But now, me like this, the mother of the mothers, weariness. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This is your life, eh? We're going to stay inside together. <laughs> you don't know anything. Pray, let me see you. Pray! <laughs> Weakness, come, 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 come! Come and see your friend. Weakness, what's going on now? Just, just weak and tired as usual. You are a foolish spirit. <laughs> what, what did I do now? What did I do? Why are you weak? Because I'm weakness. <laughs> I feel you. Too. You have to feel I feel me. You. I'm too weak Please. now. I'm Please too have weak. Come I'm too weak. <laughs> yeah, weakness. What are you trying to do? <laughs> She wants to pray. Why do you think I called she you? She wants to pray. Hey, da. Let's watch you. Prayer warrior. What is wrong with me? I should be angry in my spirit right now. I should I should want to pray. There should be us to pray. Ha! Well, could it be what I did with Bio? But there should be an only anger inside of me that should wake me on to pray. Ah, ah. Roots, be angry in your spirit. Breathe in. Out. To count. One, two, three. Go! Karabako shataya da ba ba ba. Rekoso to libre de de bako shataya da ba. Rekoso to libre de de bako shataya. Maleke se de de de. Rakapa shataya da ba. Rekoso to libre de 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 de. Witness. So you say, Jo? Just watch. Just watch. 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 Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> she has gone with the wind. Ah! She saw you right now. <laughs> she saw me right now. She saw me. Hey. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh. I'm sure you guys are having fun. Flesh, what are you saying? We're having great fun, Abby. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Where is distraction and procrastination? Distraction is in the bedroom, he's relaxing. And you see procrastination, he's in the kitchen, he's making lunch. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear this. I'm glad that we are all settled in. Hello, Sister Ruth. Hello, Sir Jeanette. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Are you home? Yes, I'm at home. Okay, I'm on my way to your house. Oh, okay. Hmm. Sergeant, I'm so sorry. I, I haven't called you. How is your mom? Mommy is fine. We are trusting God for our health, even though she's still in the ICU. What? Ah, since then? Yeah. Ah, is that serious? It is. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear this. Hmm. So, Sergeant, I want to take this time to appreciate you, honestly, with your mom. I don't know how you do it. You're still always having time to check on me, you know, my spiritual well-being with your mom going on. And then you still find time to always check up on me, pray for me, intercede for me. I'm so, so grateful. God bless you. All right, it's fine. So I called for two things. First, to apologize for the other day. Apologize for what? You wanted to speak to me, but I didn't have time to listen. Sergeant, honestly. A lot has happened, but when you come... All right. And secondly, I have a very, very, very important message for you. Important message? Yes. Wow. But then I want to encourage you to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit so He could always talk to you direct and not have to always send me to you. 
Honestly, I actually desire a relationship with the Holy Spirit, so I want to be able to speak to the Holy Spirit, communicate with the Holy Spirit just the way you do. But it just seems difficult. I'll be waiting for you. I'm at home. Alright. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Hello, Master. Flesh, speak. Master, are you aware that Jeanette is bringing a message? I know. I'm aware. This message must not get to Ruth. If it gets to Ruth, it's going to bring about a liberation. And we have to stop it by all means. Master, do you have any idea? Any plan? Have a suggestion. Suggestion. I'm a master strategist. I'm aware. I would plan something. I'll come up with a plan. Give me some time. Master, I'll call you back. <laughs> That the last time that um, distraction tried to um, tell yes. your master something, that master beat him to pop. Yeah, so I know that you are very close to master. That's what I'm telling you. So I'm, I'm thinking that since Janet, um, you know, he, he, she's bringing message, we can just try to eliminate her so that the message does not get to Ruth. How? We, we, can, we just kill the mother. Good. So yes. She, yeah. So she will have to travel home because of the, the death of the mother. Yes. And, and then we we'll have enough time to. I need to call master. Yeah. Perfect. Hello, Master. We have a plan. Well done, Flesh. Well done. Well done. I like that idea. Very brilliant. Death needs to take over. We need to unleash death. Well done. Well done, Flesh. Death, where are you? You're welcome, Death. Why are you disturbing me? Your next point of assignment is with Jeanette's mom. She needs to die already. She's very sick. And she needs to die. Like immediately. Like now. Afterwards, we go to Ruth. We don't need to waste more time with her anymore. Kill her already. Please, quickly. Roots shall die. Janet's mom will die. Just do something now. She's 20 meters away. She's 20 meters away. And she, why is she even walking fast? Where is she all into now? Oh. 
so sorry. Mm. You're turning back. I understand, I understand. You have to travel. Mm. Okay. I understand, ma. Please take care. The way Ruth is just busy with work. Mm. We need to keep her busy with sing. I, I need to activate bio. She's busy with bio right now. I will activate bio. Just watch. I'm missing bio. Good. Don't seem. This is torch. I hope by his hands are soft. Ah. God, please, I'm going to come by you. God, if anything happens, God, please just forgive me in advance. Ah, let me call by you. Oh, by you. Hello, by you. Yes, I'm fine. Where are you? Oh, you're around my area. Ah, what was happening there? So you didn't even come. You don't want to see me. Yes, I'm at home. Please come. Okay, I'll be expecting you. It's already close to my house. Oh my god. Ah, let me get ready for bio. <laughs> oh my god. Is he here already? <laughs> my wig is upstairs. He can't see me like this. <laughs> oh. oh my god. What? What are you doing here, Sister Janet? I don't understand. I'm not expecting you're not supposed to be here. I know, right? But the Holy Spirit have a message for you. <laughs> Janet. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Can you trust me? Yes, I can trust you. I need you to continue your journey to Ruth. I need you there. Who ah, message that you could have called me over the phone? We've been talking all day. Or text me or send a voice note or chat me up or something. Your family needs you more than I do. You can't be here right now, Sir Jean. It's like we I can't go without delivering the message the Holy Spirit asked me to deliver to you. Ah, what kind of message could be that important, Sir Jean? It is not right. You shouldn't be here. Ha! You shouldn't be here. I don't even feel comfortable about it. You just lost your mom. You're not supposed to be here right now. Ha! It's Alpha, what's going on, guys? Janet is here. Janet. Ah! I'll manage. I thought you guys had this under cover. Did you have it under control? Flesh. Call master. Call master, call master. Let's know what to do. We can't just stand here and just be moving. Hello, master. Can you see what's happening? Yes, Janet is here. Janet is back? How? She's supposed to be mourning her mom. Her mom is dead. And she's supposed to be mourning. She's supposed to be mourning her mom. She's not supposed to be here. She's supposed to be yes. on her way to the village or something. Oh, go downstairs, Daddy. I don't know what you're doing. There's trouble, there's trouble, there's trouble, there's trouble. There's trouble. Sadine, what exactly is the message? The message is simple. The Holy Spirit said it needs your attention. It wants to talk to you. 
<laughs> the Holy Spirit needs my attention. Yes. The Holy Spirit that watched my prayer life go down the drain. The Holy Spirit that watched my study life go down the drain needs my attention. How? Where? <laughs> See, Sergeant Nett, you remember the time I told you that I wanted to confide in you? Yes. See, you know what? Let's not talk about it. Let's just let it go. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Sister Ruth, what really happened? Sister Janet, because of what happened, I've not been able to pray. The last time I remember that I prayed so well, that I prayed, was the day I told you that I didn't know what came over me, that I prayed for hours. Wow. Since then, I can't remember praying. Every time I want to pray, I just feel distracted. Oh, sometimes I even schedule time to pray. I end up procrastinating. I feel very weary. There's this laziness. There's this. I just don't have any interest to pray. I totally lost interest in praying. All I'm particular right now, all I just desire and I need right now is my prayer life and my study life back on track. How do I do that? Like I said, the Holy Spirit wants to talk to you. Let's even be real. Enough of this, the Holy Spirit needs my attention. How? In this 21st century, Sergeant, let's be honest, let's be realistic. Is the Holy Spirit real? Does he speak? Where? How? Yes, he speaks and he is very real. As a matter of fact, I can feel his presence right here with us. <laughs> Sergeant, you can feel his presence. Where? Janet, ask her who Bio is. Who is Bio? <laughs> How did you know? I must have mentioned him to you, yes. I mentioned him to you when we were talking the last time. I mentioned him! No, you did not. Tell her. She committed sexual immorality with Bayo. And since then, she's been feeling self-condemned. Tell her to stop condemning herself. I will forgive her. All she needs to do is ask for forgiveness. You committed sexual immorality with Bayo. And the Holy Spirit asked me to tell you, don't feel condemned. Ask for forgiveness and he will forgive you. Holy Spirit is waiting to communicate with you. Just like you are talking to me, talk to him audibly and he will hear you. You know what, Sister Ruth? I have to attend to family. We'll talk when I get back. Having a conversation with you. You think you can have a conversation with the Holy Spirit? I will not allow you! I will not! Yes, what do we do? Ruth must not speak with the Holy Spirit. If she does, that will be the end of me. That will be the end of all of us. All of us. See, guys, just calm down. Relax. Calm down. This is not time for us to panic. We need to act and act smart. Procrastination. I need you. Can you be useful? Can you just go there and make up procrastination? That communication must not happen. Holy Spirit, you are here. Holy Spirit, can you hear me? Procrastination. She must not have that conversation with the Holy Spirit. Procrastinator! Make her procrastinate! This must not happen! Ruth, there's no need to rush. Hey, the Holy Spirit is not a rushing spirit. Yes, you have to calm down. Hey, I, you, you, you don't have to even ask him now because everywhere is noisy. Do you understand? Maybe you should wait till like 12 a.m. Do you understand? That time where everywhere is quiet. So like I hear this still small voice when he's speaking. 
Do you understand? And because of proper bonding time, you can even like maybe shift the the meeting to like weekend so that you spend Friday, Saturday and Sunday with him so that it to be lovely fellowship. Don't you think? I'm even thinking that you can even go on a retreat. Maybe you can push it to like the end of the month and then go to a camp. You know, I just I just fellowship with the Holy Spirit. I just do, do you understand? So take your time. There's no need to hurry. The Holy Spirit will always be available for you. Don't you think so? It's true. I mean, I can always wait till public holiday. I'm going to have enough time. Hey! Fantastic job. But well, guys, relax. Let's not let's not celebrate in a hurry. Wait. Where is Marines? Miss Priest, I'll have enough plenty time to have a conversation with you. We have plenty of time to talk. Since you want to talk to me, so we'll have enough time. Yes, I mean, there won't be distraction, there won't be any form of excuse or... I know that yes, it's me and you. I think that's better. Willingness! Willingness! What, what's your problem? We are here knocking our heads together, trying to end this target, and you are, and you are here faffing around. See, I'm weary, and I need to rest. You are, you are weary? Just come here. Nails, ah. Death is on our way. Procrastination has done a fantastic job. But we cannot end it. We cannot celebrate in a hurry. I need both of you, willingness and weakness, to ensure that this lady, before death comes here, she's wicked. She's willing. From day till night. Don't stop until death gets here. Tonight, we end this project. Yes. Tonight, we end this project. Yes. Tonight, we end this project. Yes. Get to work, guys. Get to work. Get to work. Let's do this. Get to work. Let's do this. with the first flight tomorrow. What's the plan? Mortuary already? <laughs> okay. I'll see you tomorrow, by God's grace. I need you to go back and pray with you. Ah. Holy Spirit, do you care at all? I just lost my mom. I guess all you care about is roots. Janet, trust me. Trust me. See, all hell is about to break loose on roof. And I told you, you are the one I have chosen to stand in the gap for her in this season. So what I want you to do is go back in there and cast out the spirit of weariness, the spirit of distraction, cast out flesh, cast out the spirit of weakness so that she can be restored. Okay, Holy Spirit. Yes. I'll do just that. Yes. Where are you? I need you to get inside before the door closes. 
I need you to get inside before the door of our life is shut. We don't have the time. Get to work. To me. I've always been talking to you, but you see, you could not hear me. You could not receive what I was saying because our means of communication was captured. How do you mean by means of communication? What was captured? Holy Spirit, I don't understand. You see, your prayer life and your word study life, they are the principal means through which we communicate. And so if you let down your prayer life and you starve your word study life, it becomes difficult for us to have a conversation. So as much as I keep trying to talk to you, you cannot hear me. 
And when you do that to your prayer life and your word study life, you give the enemy all the opportunity he needs to invade your life. And that's why you are where you are. You cannot hear me. Holy Spirit, but I tried to put a structure in place. I tried praying in the morning. I did like an hour. In the afternoon, I do one hour during my break time. And then in the night, I do like two hours before going to bed. Even sometime, I tried to do midnight. But it was not easy. Holy Spirit, it was not working. I was not consistent. So you see, anything you want to do must always begin with me. You, you set out certain structures for yourself to pray, to study. In your own strength. No. By strength shall no man prevail. It is not by power, nor by might, but by me, the Spirit of God. If you really want to build your prayer life, it must start with me. Whatever structure you want to set must start with me. Yes, you need to have structure. Structure is very important in trying to build your prayer life. Because any prayer life that does not have structure will eventually become a prayerless life. And so you see many of my people want to build their prayer life and all they do is just keep praying without certain structure. It shows that they are joking. If you want to build your prayer life, you must be intentional about certain structures. You see, structures is very important. Yes, but Holy Spirit, I did the same thing. I said structures, morning, one hour, afternoon, two hours and one hour, evening, before I go to bed like two hours, but only I was not consistent. It was not working. The structures you set are simply copy and paste. What do you mean, Holy Spirit? You are simply modeling the life, the prayer life of other people. You know, those who pray four hours. So people share their testimonies that they have spent five hours in prayers, nine hours, 16 hours in prayers, and then you are setting your structure after that model. No, you can't keep up with that. You are just starting up. Don't be afraid to take your baby steps. Don't be afraid to take your baby steps. Don't model those who have been praying for many years. They have built their prayer life over time through constant fellowship with me and now they can stay with me in fellowship for nine hours. You cannot copy that. Start by taking little steps. Start with me. You can start with 10 minutes. You start 10 minutes with me, I'm there with you. You have that fellowship with me 10 minutes. I can assure you in a short while you discover that you are spending 30 minutes, one hour, because you are fellowshipping with me. It's about fellowship with me, not about what you can do in your strength. I'm there with you, we are fellowshipping together, and before you know it, we are growing. You are growing to 30 minutes, not in your strength, but through fellowship with me. It's all about fellowshipping with me, not about how long you pray. So focus on how you can fellowship with me in prayer and in study of the word. Start little by little 10 minutes today 10 minutes later 15 minutes the other day and then you grow from there i will be there to give you strength to be consistent because you started with me wow and you see one last thing if you are really serious about building a lasting prayer life then you need accountability partners accountability partner how oh, holy spirit but i have you why do i need anybody do you remember the war movie you watched recently? War movie? Yes, I think I remember. The one where soldiers were on battlefield and one of the soldiers was wounded and the other soldiers held the one that was wounded. Yes, yes, that's the one. Holy Spirit, what does that have to do with me? Because you are the wounded soldier. Holy Spirit, I am not wounded. I am fine. Life is a battlefield. Do you remember my word that says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers? That's because you are in a war front. You are constantly in a battlefield. And it's sad that many of my people do not even realize this, nor are they conscious of it. You are in a battlefield. And your principal weapons of war are your prayer life and your word study life. Your word study life is your shield of faith. That is your defense instrument. And your prayer life is your sword of the spirit with which you wage attack. Now, if you let down your prayer life, that means you have dropped your weapons of war right in the middle of the battle. And what do you think will happen to you? I'll get attacked by the enemy. Yes, you could get attacked. And that is where you are at the moment. 
Because when you dropped your prayer life and you dropped your word-study life, you gave the enemy opportunity to invade your life. And that's why he invaded your life and you are wounded. That's why you try to pray. You want to pray. You try to pray, but you cannot because you are wounded. You want to study, but you cannot because you are wounded. And if a soldier is wounded on the battlefield and is left alone, he will die. In your wounded state, if you are left alone, your spiritual life will die. That's why you need accountability partners. You need people, other soldiers, whose energy and whose strength you can leverage on to start working again. So when you have them around you and they help you up from your wounded state and they help you to start working again, I, the Holy Spirit, will begin the healing process. And when you are perfected, you can stand alone again and not only fight, but also help others who are wounded. That's why you need accountability partners. Yes, like Sister Janet. Yes, like Janet. And speaking of Janet, I wanted to tell her that she should call her mom. Hmm. Sister Janet, she should call her mom. But her mom is late. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Thank you, What's Holy Spirit. What's the matter? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Yes, I didn't I can't believe this. This felt so good. Wow. What? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just, Thank you, Lord. I just had a conversation with the Holy Spirit. Wow. Glory <laughs> to God. What? Ah, thank you, Holy thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. It feels so good. Like I was communicating with the Holy Spirit. I was speaking with him like I was speaking to you, like I was speaking wow. to a friend. This like I was talking to someone. Like it was so close. It was so real. It felt so good. So what did my God say? Just, like every question that I had, every question that I've had to ask you about prayer, about my study life, about everything that has been worrying me, that has been troubling me, the Holy Spirit broke it down. He spoke Glory to me. To Thank you, Lord. He Thank told me Holy what Spirit. to do. He gave me answers so, to all my questions. So what did he say? Yes. The Holy Spirit asked me to tell you that you should call your mom. Sister yes. Ruth. My mom. Yes, he told me to tell you to call your mom. Yes, my mom. late mom. Yes, the Holy Spirit asked me to tell you. Yes. Okay. Hello, bros. Where are you? You know, this is not making sense. Are they come? Are they come? Alpha, where are you there? Well, we've taken mom to the mortuary. She's presently at the mortuary. Please, give the phone to mom. I know, but the Holy Spirit asked me to give her the phone. You started with this, your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. What, what, what is this? What is this? Please, give her the phone. What is wrong with you? How do you expect me to give someone who is dead a phone? Bros, please now. Yeah. Please, give her the phone. See, yeah. Uh, well, it is fine. I, I would go. But then, it's not just making sense to me. It's not making sense. You are not around. You are, you are, you are. Alright, you can talk now. Hello, mommy. The Holy Spirit asked me to talk to you. Wherever you are, come back to us. Come back to us. She's not alive. I don't know what you're doing. I think mommy does not deserve this from you. It's fine. The Holy Spirit cannot send me on an errand and it fails. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I, and I declare, come back to us. Grace Okereke, come back to us. In the name of Jesus. What unbelievable. What? Your Holy Spirit has done it. Mom is shaking. Thank you, Lord. Mom is shaking. Oh, What's not Thank you, Lord. Oh, my mom. Yes, my mom is walking. <laughs>
Holy Spirit, come take your place. Holy Spirit, come wash your way. Holy Spirit, come take your place. Holy Spirit, come wash your way. Thank you.